things are getting pretty tough this week and I hate to moan and I'm generally a really positive person but the last couple of days have definitely been more tricky. I've just got to that stage, you know when you have days where you just feel like everything's an effort even when you're not pregnant and you just feel tired and everything feels heavy and even just getting out of bed in the morning is, is tricky. I'm kind of there this week at the moment and I think it's probably worse because Aiden has not been very well the last couple of days. He's picked up some sort of virus from school and his sleeping was kind of all over the place. So he was in our bed for two or three nights, I think. He had a temperature, so I was very aware of him being there and checking on him. And even though we have a huge bed, he still manages to take up the most significant part of the bed. And he's so tiny, I don't know. Before Aiden was feeling unwell, my sleep was so good. I was literally sleeping like a log for eight to nine hours a night. We were going to bed really early. So I think it's just a combination of the weather getting a bit warmer, me obviously getting bigger and more tired and not getting a full night's sleep for two or three nights in a row. So Aiden is feeling a lot better than he was and he had a good full night of sleep last night, which meant I had a good full night of sleep and the difference today when I woke up, I feel less achy, less sore and just my energy levels are definitely higher than they have been. So fingers crossed it was just that and I'll be feeling a little bit better. I was so busy moaning that I completely forgot to tell you that I'm 35 weeks and four days today. So I'll be uploading this video on the day that I'm filming it. So it's taken me until 35 weeks, but I'm finally bang on time and the right number of weeks on my updates as I am in real life. So hooray, <laughs> I finally caught up with myself. So other than the feeling tired and just a bit sluggish, the biggest thing for me I would say over the last week or so has been Braxton Hicks and I was watching Mrs Meldrum's um, 25 week pregnancy update yesterday and she's pregnant with baby number three so I don't know if it's like the more babies you have that this happens but she was saying how painful her Braxton Hicks contractions have been. All the books that you read and things that you see online say that Braxton Hicks contractions shouldn't be painful and that's true to an extent, it is just that kind of tightening sensation. But the last week or so, they have actually been quite painful. And I just thought I was being a wimp. <laughs> but to hear Mrs Meldrum saying yesterday that hers were painful too, I thought, oh, thank goodness it's not just me. And I'm assuming that they are Braxton Hicks. I know that it's not the start of anything because there's nothing of any regularity or it's certainly not really painful, like a proper contraction, but they are definitely uncomfortable. Mine are all right at the base of my bump, like right underneath and across, I would say across the whole thing. And it's a, definitely a tightening feeling, but there is pain as well. And I can't remember them being that painful in previous pregnancies. I don't know. Let me know if you've had the same thing because they are quite, like I have to, I wouldn't want to stand up and move around while it's happening because they do feel quite nasty. So I just tend to sit, sit still and it doesn't last for long and they go away and then I'm okay. So I don't know, maybe it's just a sign that everything's kind of starting to gear up and starting to kind of practice for the big day. I don't know, but they're not very nice. I guess this goes hand in hand with the whole tiredness thing, but I definitely feel more achy in the last week. I've had some lower back pain, nothing out of the ordinary, just sort of tired, achy sort of feeling in my lower back, which is usually at the end of the day. So if I then go to bed, by the time I wake up in the morning, it's generally completely fine again. And I've also had a really odd pain in my right hip for the last week or so. And thank God I've woken up this morning and it seems to be much better, but it's right in my butt cheek, like properly buried in there. And it's really uncomfortable when I walk. I can feel it constantly when I'm walking around and it's definitely giving me that really attractive pregnant lady waddle that we all enjoy so much. But thankfully this morning it seems to be much, much better. So I don't know if it was just down to where the baby happened to be lying. The baby is still apparently the size of a honeydew melon, which is the same as it was in my last update. But wow, does it feel like a big honeydew melon. <laughs> I'm aware of all of the baby now. I can, I feel like I can tell what parts I'm feeling. At my last midwife appointment, they did all the measurements and the, my measurements were still a week behind, but that's pretty normal for me. 
and she said that the baby was lying head down and the right way round, not back to back, which I was really pleased about, although I know it can still move around a lot at this stage. But I can definitely feel what I think is a shoulder and then a bum. And every so often I'll feel like an elbow or a foot or a shoulder or something popping out and it's quite hard and pointy and that's really cool. The movements feel really large and like slower now. I can feel it kind of shuffling around in there trying to get comfortable. I guess it's really running out of room now. And it seems to get hiccups all the time. Most days it'll have a little bout of hiccups at some point. And it was really cute yesterday. Aiden actually managed to feel the hiccups and he doesn't really, he hasn't really felt the baby move much before because every time it does, by the time he puts his hand there, it stopped. But it had quite consistent hiccups yesterday and he was fascinated, he thought it was really funny. So he sat there for ages with his little hand on my tummy, like feeling the baby's hiccups. That's everything in terms of like my body and how I'm feeling. Um, I'm still completely addicted to ice. I spoke about this before and I cannot get enough. I go through pint glasses and pint glasses, maybe that's where that baby's got hiccups actually, but I get through quite a lot of ice a day. The other exciting thing is I did a bit of shopping this week, online shopping, because my husband is nagging me not to go too far when he's at work because he's worried about not being able to get to me and things. So I have to do all my shopping online, which I'm not complaining about. And I did make two online orders yesterday, so they should be arriving in the next day or so. So as soon as that comes, I'll be able to film a haul to show you what I've got. I'm not gonna go really overboard this time and buy lots and lots of neutral newborn things, even though I do tend to dress the baby, whether it's a boy or a girl, in white or grey. I just think once we know what the baby is and the baby is born, I'll want to go and do some more shopping for little cute bits then. So I've just bought some basics that'll tide me over for the first week or so. So I'm really looking forward to filming a haul for you. I'm hoping to do it next week. I need to place another one or two orders for bigger bits and pieces that we need as well really need to get myself sorted. I feel like I'm starting to get a little bit more organised now and it's all feeling a lot more real. It also dawned on me this morning that I am exactly one month to my due date today. Today is the 24th of May, I'm due on the 24th of June, so we're into a daily countdown now and actually the kids have beaten me to that and they've already written on our chalkboard that's in our kitchen a daily countdown, which is really freaking my husband out because he's got jobs that he wants to finish in the house before the baby comes, and he's taking his own sweet time getting those jobs done, so I might have to turn the pressure up a little bit and cut, start reminding him every morning how many days there are. So as excited as he is, he's definitely feeling the pressure that there's only four and a half weeks to go. My next midwife appointment is next week. They come into the house to talk to me about all the home birth bits and pieces, Obviously I've had two home births in this house before, so we kind of know what we're doing, but it's always nice to have them come and chat to you about it because you do forget things and it's just nice and reassuring. Other than that, I think that's pretty much everything I've got to talk to you about today. Thank you ever so much for watching. I really hope you're enjoying my pregnancy updates. Can't believe there's only a few more to go and that I've only just caught up and I'm actually doing them in real time. I'm absolutely terrible. I've been a week behind the whole way through, but from now on, I'm hoping I'll be able to keep on top of them and do at least four, another, another four, maybe five before the baby comes. Oh, one more thing to mention. Channel Mum recently launched a whole series of amazing pregnancy update videos. You have to go and check them out if you're pregnant. I'm sure you've seen them already, but if you haven't, I'll leave the link to them below. The very lovely Charlotte Taylor, who again, I'm sure you're all familiar with, has put them all together and she has done an amazing job. I've been watching through so many of them and they make me feel really emotional. Pregnancy hormones probably aren't helping, but I just feel really emotional watching them all because it's just such a reminder of what an amazing, special time it is. So do go and check them out. They're really lovely and very, very useful if you're pregnant. I'll leave a little button up here for you to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd love to have you. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I'll see you in my next one.